dermatologist Dr. Jody Levine is here with more. Dr. Levine, this is unfathomable, unfathomable to me, coming from someone who didn't know you were supposed to moisturize until college or after. Irreversible for children? These products are really irritating. They can cause yeah. redness, dryness, stinging, burning, allergies, eczema, even long-term skin sensitivity. Well, how, long, how often, you know, your practice now, how often do you see this from parents who come in and say, I want a skincare product for my child? So I am seeing now parents coming in with shopping bags filled with products and they, they drop it on the table and they say, my kids are buying this at Sephora, what do I do? Please help us, tell us what can they use, what can't they use? And we can look at it as a positive trend that kids are caring about skincare. Like you said, you, you know, when you were younger, you didn't know anything about skincare, but we need to direct the children toward proper skincare. Absolutely, look, my mom's like, palm olive soap, that's all you need, so <laughs> that not good. So there is a, a balance, I, I understand. But you know, I was reading this article from the BBC, and I have a four-year-old, and this article in the BBC said her daughter was eight years old when she became interested in this, and she said, quote, it feels like her childhood has now been taken away. So how much of this has to do with vanity and is unhealthy for our kids? It's very unhealthy because of the long-term skin damage that it can cause. Also, a lot of these products have AHA, BHA, these are exfoliating acids, mm -hmm. and they, when you exfoliate the skin and don't use proper sun protection, you can lead to greater UV damage. Most of our UV damage happens before the age of 18. So this is the time when kids really need to protect their skin. And you mentioned Sephora. So I mean, this adds up. Like are, are parents spending $100 or north of that? I mean, the expense is unnecessary and it's definitely a lot. And you know, one question for you I have is social media and the role that this plays. Like when you talk to parents, how many of them say, my daughter's seen this on social media, she's interested in makeup, she's interested in skincare, social media, TikTok seems to be a little bit of a threat here. Yes, TikTok and YouTube are really responsible for a lot of danger, not just skincare. I mean, a lot of negative trends, mental health issues, yeah. eating disorders or yeah. excessive bodybuilding, unhealthy nutritional supplements, even self-harm. Yeah, this is scary. Eight years old, just too young to be into all of this. Dr. Levine, thank you very much. Thank you.